Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Singaporean Talks Money. So today, let's talk about index funds being at an all-time high and whether you should be buying them now. So firstly, what is an index fund? So some examples of an index fund is an investment that tracks a market index and they are typically made up of stocks or bonds. Just as how the name index funds suggests, it is the tracking of an index through a mutual fund or exchange traded fund. So some examples of an index tracked through an exchange traded funds are locally we have Nikko AM STI ETF and the SPDR STI ETF. So for overseas we have the Tracker Fund of Hong Kong and then definitely the Vanguard 500 Index Fund ETF which is VOO and also for the world we have Total World Vanguard Total World Stock Index Fund ETF. So in the past few weeks, index funds have been hitting all-time highs. So, um, for example, Vanguard Total World Stock uh, Index Fund ETF VT has even hit US dollar one hundred dollars on nine April twenty twenty one. VOO as well is now at three hundred and seventy eight dollars uh, point two eight hitting all new highs. So many are now apprehensive in entering as the ETF seems overvalued and buying in at such a high price, will it still guarantee a profit? So I think no one really has the answer on whether will you profit because it depends on the time horizon that you are going to be in for. But if you pull out the charts and look at it historically, index ETFs hit all-time highs quite progressively and grow in value over the long run. This is because the companies in the index grow and hence valuation increases as well. So for example, Apple, Tesla, Alphabet, Amazon have all grown in value since 10 years ago and hence increasing the value of both the index uh, in the case where they are included in. So if you're confident that the world, USA or Singapore or whatever index fund you're buying in, the companies inside will continue to grow, then definitely there's no better time to invest except for now. So let's move on to what I mentioned a little bit about just now, which is the time horizon. So if you buy index funds, you should be aware that generally holding over a long term will be profitable. And for this year, S&P 500 has grown tremendously. And my portfolio, inclusive of dividends, as you can see, has returned about 26.87%. Whereas S&P 500 has a return of 102% as of 17 April 2021 which is astonishing if you ask me, meaning that if you had just bought S&P 500, you would have doubled your capital. And in the graph, you can see that is the difference between the benchmark return of S&P 500 and my portfolio. So in hindsight, definitely everyone will always say that they could have performed better if they invested otherwise. So many polls have been covering if you had invested 1,000 in the S&P 500 from start of 2020 till now, your in 1,000 would have turned to so and so, and so on for Deutsche, uh, Deutsche Coin and uh, Bitcoin and Ether. So, for me currently, the only index ETF I'm buying into is VT, which is through FSM One uh, regular savings plan. Um, yeah, there's. I have talked about a video where I talk about how I allocate my regular savings plan buying into VT and also ARK Fintech. So if you would like to know more, the link is in the description below. And uh, I don't really plan on making any changes to that. So um, the main purpose of this video is actually to inform and at the same time remind myself to keep myself in check. For those who think that it is too high a price to enter now, 
you might want to consider a dollar cost averaging approach so that you are able to stay invested and as the market uh, moves, you can adjust the amount accordingly if you are afraid of doing a lump sum investment all at once. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Be disciplined, stay invested and stay safe. Thank you for listening to me and subscribe and like.